Hey gamers, how are you today? Sorry I didn't post the video on how to paint the lining effect on a power sword earlier uh, because uh, actually I was sick. I shot the, the video the day after I make my last, uh, my previous video. But, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, I was sick the next day so I couldn't post it on YouTube. But, uh, but there it is and um, it's really simple. It's a really basic effect that um, you can use in any uh, miniature, not even in power sword, but any lighting effect you want to do uh, on your painting. So check it out, and I hope you like it. Hey gamers, how are you today? So today we're going to uh, learn how to paint the lighting effect effects on the power swords, like I did for my Space Marine uh, Captain uh, if you remember the, the the video for this miniature so I drawn a power sword here to make it easier for you to to see what I'm doing the first thing you want to do is uh, of course paint the blade of the of the sword uh, the color you, you want it uh, personally I like a metallic paint because Let's face it, it's a, uh, it's metal, it's a sword, but you can paint the base color any color you want. Then what you want to do is start to make the lighting, um, depending on the color you want. In my in this case, we're gonna do a, a blue one. So use a dark blue to to draw the the lighting itself. Uh, on a on the miniature, uh, I'll use a um, the Army Painter uh, Insane Detail brush, but any really fine uh, tip uh, will be will, will do will do the work. So all you want to do is draw a pattern. Uh, really, uh, I mean, not really straight. You know, like. Like if you were looking for for something, see, and from on the other side, and you want to start from the point um, from this point of the the blade, because in my opinion, it is where it is what it generates the um, the electricity. Or the power for the for this weapon. So we'll start all the, um, the lighting coming from this little ball. You know, it's like those crystal balls with the electricity inside. When you put your finger, they all come to you. And that's the same effect, in my opinion. Then, when you have done <coughs> the 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 base lighting, what you want to do is with the same color dark dark blue or if you're doing a green one dark green or red dark red and so on you want to do really with the tip of the brush light this is right with the um, tip of the brush you want to do um, really small lighting you no know, smaller than the the one before you no know, coming from all directions Really small. Then it's really easy if you understand the the basic. Then it's up to for you to practice and uh, do it with your imagination uh, what you want. The, um, the next step, you're taking a lighter blue than the the one you use, or a lighter color than the one you use before. In this case, I'm going to use ultramarine blue uh, because it's uh, lighter than the the um, origin blue. And what you want to do now, and that needs a little bit of practice, is to draw the same line but inside the the first you you did, just to make an inside line. You know, the same pattern, but um, 
a different um, inside line, you know, so we can still see the 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 dark blue in this case under it. So you want to do an inside line on all the lining strokes, but not on the small one you did on last, you know just on, on the the big ones the smaller one will stay um, dark blue then the last step is to use <coughs> some uh, white and just paint A little bit where the the lighting I'm meeting, you know, where there is like three stroke meeting, just do a dot or a little stroke, just to and on the the starting point also, just to make some some effect, like a nice effect. Of course, on this drawing it doesn't look that good, but basically that's it. Um, there's not much to say about um, this tutorial. So there was the tutorial uh, on how to paint lining effects on a power sword. In this case, um, as you could see, it's really simple. Just remember again to use the main line with a dark color, whatever the lighting color you want. In this case, it was blue, but you can use a green or red or purple, any color you want. Uh, but start with the dark color and make the the main line of the lighting with that dark color. And then with a smaller line, a thinner line, make little lighting effects coming out from the, the main line. Then uh, with a lighter color, in this case we use blue so the lighter color was a uh, light blue, we paint the inside of the main line for the lightning. The same uh, line but just the inside part. And then at the end just with the white use uh, a little dot or a little line just where the, the, the lighting met, you know just to make a little bit of more shining effect. Mm -hmm. I also did that on the on the um, starting point just to make it like it's really glowing in, the, in, in, the, in this part. And basically that's it. I also did for my um, Space Marine Captain on his power sword at the end when all was dry uh, because I used a blue uh, lining effect so I did uh, um, a blue wash just to blend all the colors together nicely to, ma to make a better effect so uh, just do a wash of the color of the lighting you did if you want that makes it a bit more natural I think and that's it just then what you need is to practice and uh, the more you do the, the better you will uh, get the, the line uh, nice and, and tight. So, so that's it, just practice now. Uh, that's the secret to, to make it uh, look really cool. And uh, I hope you like it. Um, please comment, leave your comments, ask me what you want me to teach you. If I can, uh, I will do it with uh, great pleasure. So don't hesitate to comment on this video or any of my videos and also to check my website uh, there's a lot of pictures of my work, what I've done so far. And if you have uh, any requests, do not hesitate to ask. Um, I hope you like this video and this tutorial. And uh, thank you for watching and see you on my next video.